Bakhmut has fallen. The brutal wait for Ukraine's counteroffensive. Those Ukrainians who have endured this winter's Russian onslaught in the ruins of Marinka, Avdivka, Bakhmut, and all the trenches in between, know the counteroffensive is coming, but no one knows whether they'll live to see it. Ruined towns and cratered fields turned into no man's land have borne the brunt of Russia's war machine while Ukrainian units spent much of this winter training on Western equipment with NATO partners. As they ready their Bradleys, Leopards, and more to take back territory, each day at the front line brings a high cost. The Institute for the Study of War's latest assessed control of terrain maps show the frontline towns continue to see heavy fighting and video from the Russian side also shows tanks from Russia's 150th Motorized Rifle Division in action in Marienka, with shells from tanks and artillery landing throughout the piles of debris. Haunting accounts from the frontline confirm just how badly Ukraine needs the initiative back with some help from its NATO-trained mechanized units. The besieged town of Bakhmut perhaps illustrates this best, the grueling battle now a bloody street-by-street street fight as Russia attempts to punch through the city's ruins. Christopher Miller with the Financial Times wrote about combat training for Ukraine's provisional units as the country scrounges for manpower, and it includes a grim anecdote of Ukraine's casualties. A soldier in a Kyiv Territorial Defense Brigade told Miller in a single day at Bakhmut's frontline, he was one of only three in his platoon of 21 to escape alive and without injury. Outside the city's ruins, fighting continues along the trench lines. Francis Farrell of the Kyiv Independent brings us to the harrowing situation at Bakhmut's Zero Line for Ukrainian soldiers while embedded with the storied Ukrainian 10th Mountain Assault Brigade to the north near Soledar. The relentless human wave assaults of Wagner PMC fighters have filled fields between the trenches with bodies, while a Ukrainian aid station has blood-stained stretchers and used tourniquets near its temporary morgue. 